Hey Santiago, spoke to Monica. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, my name is Devin. I'm with SEO Dallas, Texas. So I'm going to show you three easy ways on how you can beat your competition online. I know you're probably asking why I'm even making this video for you. And the reality is simple. There's a lot of business owners out there that are just too busy, you know, running the business, taking care of their customers, and they don't really have the time to learn how to make the internet benefit them and work for them and bring in more of those customers. And typically the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they just don't know who is an expert and who is not. So I found that by making these attack plans and just giving them away for free, a lot of these business owners still end up raising their hands going, you know what, Devin, I like you, just take care of this stuff for me. So at the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks in my sleeve and you want me to help you take care of this stuff, just give me a call, I'll be glad to chat with you. If you want to take this information and do it yourself, that's totally okay too. This is free information, free education, there's no strings attached. Now Santiago, I'm going to tell you about three things today, content, backlinks, and citations. So to start with content, it's everything on the front page of your website that Google can look through to determine what keywords to rank you for and where to rank you for those keywords. And keywords are just terms that people search into Google to find your business. So for you, it'd be like <clears throat> plumber in Houston, Houston plumbing, water heater re repair, uh, Houston, whatever it would be in those. Google wants you to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words on your front page to consider you an authority, and that includes all the text that you can read, all the text behind your images, and then whatever your images are saved as. So let's take a quick peek at your website. First off, uh, I do like you have this rotating gallery right here. It looks really, really nice. It shows some work you've done with this kind of beautiful photo photography up front, too. It really helps people want to like learn some more about you. Uh, it looks like this website itself was professionally designed. Oh, I can see it with JC Web Design. <clears throat> so this is like professionally designed, which is a great first step. A lot of plumbers don't even get that far. They run on like, you know, unlisted phone numbers and stuff like that. So you're you're already like a long way ahead. Whatever your images are saved as though, this counts as content. So you want to resave these images as things such as like plumber Houston, Houston plumbing, stuff like that. All right, because that all counts as content. Um, and you want to get your your words up to about 1,500 to 2,000. You got Nick's Plumbing. These guys are beating you. It looks like they have a little bit more words than you, but it's still not 1,500. And then Abacus Plumbing. These guys have a lot. They're probably at like 1,000 to 1,200 themselves. So again, I'd recommend 1,500 to 2,000. 2,000 if you want to really want to dominate them. of just content up on this front page. Uh, and make sure it's the right keywords too. So you are getting found for 16 keywords. This is a tool I use. It's called Ahrefs. It costs about 1,000 bucks a month, but it gives you really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. And so here's the 16 words you're being found for. And they're all your own name. Houston Plumbers Free Estimates is good. Uh, you're on the sixth page for that, though, so it's not really getting you anything and no traffic from any of these words. So you want to be targeting keywords that people are searching for. Like if you go look at Nick's Plumbing, see what they're being found for. Um, let's go to volume. Oh, there's a lot of really big ones. This is really, let me go back. Uh, Plumber Houston, 250. They're in the first place for that. That's the kind of stuff you want to be targeting. Houston Plumbers, 200 people search that, right? So you, these are kind of keywords. This is the kind of traffic you could be finding from getting those right keywords. All right. Um, my next thing is backlinks. Google's like a popularity contest. And then look at how many other websites are linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. And not all links are created equal. You get a lot more power from other plumbing companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you because Google knows you're not a pizza company. So here's a tool I use. Like I said, Ahrefs. Um, it says you have 17 websites linking to you right now, and that's 29 backlinks coming from that. If you look at Nick's Plumbing, these guys have 269 linking to them, and Abacus Plumbing have 874 linking to them. Now, I obviously don't expect you to go this big this quick because it's a lot of traffic to take on. Like, they're getting 15,000 people a month. I don't know if you can go for that just yet. If you can grow that quick, that's awesome. Um, but that's we want to get there eventually if you want to take over and you know really make a ton of money with this business. So Nick's Plumbing, these guys are getting 2,400. So to beat them... You're going to have to get about 270 to 280 websites linking to you uh, on top of the 17 you already have. And the best way to do that is just copy whatever links they have. So you go look at their referring domains. And Houston Area Plumber sounds like a good one. Move Zoo. You know, and you just go in here and you make accounts and try and get links from them. So like here you'd go to join as pro, stuff like that. So that's my second tip. My third tip is citations. When somebody types in Plumber Houston and they're ready to buy... They're going to call the first plumber that shows up that seems trustworthy, and you want to be that plumber because those are the easiest customers to close. People always skip these ads, whether it's ad blockers or just bad experiences in the past. So where you want to rank yourself is in the Google My Business or local map pack section. Getting here requires having more citations than your competitors. And citations are wherever your name, your address, and your phone number are listed in different directories across the web. And directories are just websites that allow you to list your business information like Yelp, Yext, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Facebook. Angie's List, Home Advisor, these are really common ones. 
And so the best strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories and add a bunch more on top. I always recommend adding 30 to 40% more to give yourself a nice space cushion. So once you do take that number one spot, it takes them a long time to catch up to you. You typically have to do maybe an hour or two of work per month, just adding a couple citations just to hold that number one spot, keep getting all those easy to close customers. So that's all I got for you, Santiago. I uh, hope you found this really informative. What I went over again was content. I'd recommend getting that website up to about 1,500, 2,000 words. It's already a good website. It's laid out really well. You just want to make sure you have enough content so Google knows that you're an authority. Uh, you're going to want to copy your competitors' backlinks and then add a bunch more on top to dominate them because there's a ton of business out there that is being passed to them, and you want to get that organic traffic. That's how you grow the cheapest way. You don't have to pay for Yelp. You don't have to pay for Home Advisor, You don't have to pay Angie's List. And then citations, you're going to want to copy your competitors' uh, directories that they're listed in and go list yourself in those exact same ones. So, Oh, and then add a bunch more on top. So, Santiago, if you want to do this yourself, like I said, that is totally okay. This is free education. There's no strings attached. I just ask you to send me back a sentence or two as a response to this email. Just let me know what you thought about the video. And if you want me to help you take care of all this stuff, just give us a call. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. You can also just respond to this email. But either way, I'm looking forward to hearing you, hearing from you. Have a great day, Santiago. Bye.